What is up guys and welcome back to another player review. We are going to be looking at a player that is called Falcao. He goes for around 60k and a lot of you have been requesting him and I wonder why. Now if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battlelay.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. If you're looking for PSN cards or Microsoft points, check the link also in the description and use the code ETONY for a discount. So Falcao, I, try, uh, um, I tried him out for a lot of matches and I have to say that uh, uh, he's just not effective in this game. So to begin the review, I'm going to talk about his pros. Like to begin with, he has a really good shot on him. I thought, uh, I felt his in-game stats didn't give him enough, well, like I think it says 79 shot power and it felt a lot stronger than that. So his shooting was pretty awesome, especially in the penalty area, but that could come down to his finishing. He finished a lot of opportunities for me and the ones that he didn't, it was my fault. I could definitely see it as being my fault, but finishing in the penalty area, this guy is awesome. Now outside the penalty area is where the problems begin. But I will talk about that in just a second. So agility wise, he has decent agility, was actually pretty good. And you'll be able to turn instantly with him and so on and so forth. Full star skills and full star weak foot. So he looks like a really good striker when you look at his stats. But one of the things that I don't like about him and he was really awesome last year is because his heading was so awesome. It shows that he has good heading in this game, but I didn't even score one header with him. So it could be, um, actually, Oscar scored more headers in my team than Falcao. Seriously, and Falcao, he just wouldn't sometimes go into the penalty area when I want to cross it. He would wait outside the penalty area, and even when he was inside, he would miss it. And even if he does connect with the ball, it's most of the time off target. So what's the point? I don't think there is any... Um, genuine aerial threats in FIFA 15. To be honest with you guys, I don't find anyone um, as an aerial threat in FIFA 15. So, um, weak, this was a huge problem. I mean, with Ibrahimovic, he was quite slow, but he has strength, he has some dribbling that would help you out. But this guy was fucking slow and he at the same time was weak. So what this means is, even if you dribble past defenders, even though this guy it has borderline, just, I don't even know, his dribbling wasn't good to be honest with you guys. But if, if you're really good at dribbling, you'll just be able to get past defenders. And I found that a very hard task. And even if you complete this very difficult task and you're by yourself through on to go, the defender you just you know, the defender that you just fucking went past, he just catches up to you and easily gets you off the board. So that was just so annoying. I, it happened so many times. It was so frequent. I could have scored so many more goals with him. But no, defenders just easy bod you off. You might see a glimpse of a bit of strength here and there, but it's, it's so rare. Um, he's just overall not effective in this game. He's weak, slow, dribbling wise, he is uh, is just right in the middle. It's not that great, but I'll put it in the bad anyway because I didn't like it. His agility probably helps him out sometimes. But other than that, this guy is not effective in this game. I definitely do not recommend you buy Falcao because overall, you would buy him normally for to, for him to be an aerial threat. But because of how nerfed heading is right now, there is no point of Falcao. So overall, do not buy him. That's all there is to say. Now, if you guys have tried Falcao, let me know your experiences in the comment section below. This should be fun to read. Some of you might like him. Some of you might enjoy, like might have thought he is the best player you have tried. Some of you might, you know, really hate him like me. So let me know in the comment section below your opinion on Falcao if you have tried it out. So let me know also who would you like me to review next. Falcao, very average. One of the, I mean, he's such a high rated player. But he plays so bad in the game, but that's all there is to it. So Falcao gets a 6.7 out of 10.